I first thought, okay, my project is so complicated <laughs> and you need a very detailed database uh, with tags, with annotations, etc. And she is doing Coptic. So I thought, no, that's impossible. And then I, 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 I uh, came along a Coptic website with tags, with annotations. Now, wow, <laughs> when they have this kind of yeah. stuff, we can implement into the database and they can yeah. use all the functionality we have in our database. I hoped exactly to find someone <laughs> who's working in the yeah. country, uh, country on yeah. similar uh, um, aims just to, to, to improve learning. And um, I think there's great potential just to collaborate yeah. um, for, for a long period of time. I think yes. it could be uh, mm. could so many um, uh, learning learners from all over the world for Coptic language yes. and, yeah. and even other languages could just benefit from that. Yes, and what we are basically doing is uh, providing students a uh, environment in which they can uh, build exercises on the basis of a database with text and morphological and syntactical annotation. Mm -hmm. And then the computer uh, makes questions, quizzes, and you can immediately check whether something is right or wrong. I'm focusing a lot on the didactic review, how to um, how to uh, give the students in this um, um, environment of self-studying uh, the opportunity just to discovering their own potential. So I think um, just to have this te teaching experience um, could be a benefit for your project to see, okay, yes. if we implement your um, quizzes mm. and, and, and your, your the possibilities the database mm. offers um, in an, in a, let's say, in a um, uh, language management uh, structure, maybe this could be a kind of best practice. Yes, w one of the big questions now project mm. is what are the, the best requirements for a database to sustain the learning environment? Because mm -hmm. the database which we are using now for Hebrew and Greek mm -hmm. are basically uh, research databases so they are built from the perspective of the researcher not so much from the perspective of the learner yeah and i'm very curious uh, how that works out with the coptic database because yeah. i suspect that it's also built from the uh from the research yeah, perspective it's exactly and that's it would be really nice mm -hmm. if we can derive from those three mm -hmm. databases yeah. certain requirements that you say okay when you uh, would like to 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 use a uh, language database in a learning environment, you need certain things or you need to avoid yep. certain things. And uh, so I think we can absolutely uh, benefit from, from, from absolutely. your experience <laughs> yeah. From, yeah. and maybe yeah. be build uh, or correct uh, or change our databases to the requirements of the learner. And yeah, that would be yeah. awesome. <laughs>